Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a long and a little bit more in-depth video on how to speculate alongside a stock where there is a potential bear thesis and there's potential existential risk for a company. And you want to play along but with minimal upfront capital and just to participate if uh, the thesis plays out, okay? So, um, and this is not a recommendation for or against this company, it's just um, you know, this is Silvergate Bank. They're caught up, and I'll, I'll go into the details in a minute, but they're caught up in the FTX scandal, uh, and there is some risk to this company. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm not recommending you do this. I'm just using this as a good teaching moment, good teaching example to show the types of put options, uh, the, the types of ways I would play an investment like this if I wanted to participate in potential uh, downside situation. Okay, so again, this is Silvergate Capital. If you really want to plug into what's happening with this company, you've got to follow Mark Cajodes on Twitter. He's uh, he's basically the axe on what's going on. In in short, basically, there's some serious allegations that this company breached anti money laundering uh, regulations. Potentially, they breached know your customer regulations uh, in their transactions with uh, FTX the cryptocurrency exchange and with Alameda, the investment arm of that firm. And um, if these if these allegations are true, there is definitely existential risk for this bank. Um, and it could be a zero. I, I don't know for sure. Um, but it is kind of interesting to just walk through what you would do if you thought that. And But just as a caveat, I'm not recommending this. This is just to teach how to go about doing it. So if you think a stock is going to go lower or a lot lower, uh, there's there's a few different things you could do. You could obviously short the stock, but the risk of shorting a stock is you can get bought in by a short squeeze. Uh, the stock can go higher, and your risk is really it's unlimited potentially. And if you look at the GameStop situation, we had a good example of a stock that went up many many times in the face of what was a pretty good short thesis. Uh, it just was overshorted. And if you look at Silvergate already, this is already a battleground stock. There's there's a 20% short position already, and this information is most likely stale. Uh, I bet when this information gets updated on Seeking Alpha, it's that short position is going to be higher. So you know this is maybe not the greatest name to short in the first place, but we have another option, another alternative, and that is to buy put options. And so we'll go through some examples. <clears throat> another thing I want to point out too is you just look at how far the stock has already fallen and you know it was in the 200s back in November and now we're at 25 who knows I mean it, it could be that the thesis has already played out and uh, it's already over right I mean I, who knows so again you have to keep this in mind that this is a risk and um, that you know we're already maybe we're already late to arriving at this bear case right so the ideal thing is to minimize the amount of capital we can lose and have it be known and quantified. Whereas when you are shorting a stock, the amount of loss is unquantified and uncapped, right? So the best thing to do in a case like this is to just buy a few low priced put options. This is what I really like to do. Uh, and so what I'm going to show is, uh, first of all, we're going to skip the calls. We're not interested in calls. We want to look at puts and we have to pick a month. And so now we have to think about, okay, this thesis, over what time horizon is it likely to play? And probably, so you can see that there's options that are expiring in a matter of days or weeks, the weeklies here. And then we have uh, January, February, May, and then we have out a little further. So May is out six months, and then there's January of 2024, that's out 13 months, and then January of 2025. And of course, remember, the further in time out you go, the more the option premium or the more higher price the option has. So I'm also almost certainly not going to do any short term options because it's probably going to be a matter of weeks or months before this thing really plays out. Of course, I could be wrong. Uh, and going out to 2025, more than two years, probably would involve me paying significant time premium when the thesis probably will have already played out by then. So my bias would be to buy a put option in the May month and in the January month. Uh, so we just take a look here and you can see, and, and really I generally default to this 1250, this lowest strike. 
and you can see that uh, the 1250 strikes so this gives me the right to put the stock to someone at twelve dollars and fifty cents and it's already uh, you know the, the price is two dollars and ten cents which isn't cheap but at the end of the day you can just work out the math right so if this stock goes to zero I make twelve twelve hundred and fifty dollars per 100 shares and I have to put up two hundred and ten dollars to buy this option right so my proceeds would be one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars again if the thing totally worked out and minus my two hundred dollar premium that I would pay up front and so that's a thousand forty dollars on an initial investment of two hundred and ten and that works out to almost five times my money right that's not bad uh, it's not gonna you know make me rich but it's uh, kind of fun kind of like playing at a five dollar blackjack table right and just by contrast we could look at say the 25 strike now this is the at the money strike obviously the price is much higher seven dollars and seventy cents so the max upside would be to have the stock go to zero and I would get paid twenty five hundred dollars uh, because I'm long this put option and of course I'm paying seven hundred and seventy dollars for that uh, option so twenty five hundred dollars is my proceeds seven seventy is my cost the net is seventeen thirty and on an initial investment of seven hundred and seventy dollars that's about a 2.2 .2 times return so I do a little bit better than double my money in that case now, of course we don't know what the stocks gonna do it might not go any lower at all and so these options could totally expire worthless and so we know what our maximum loss is and so for a case like this probably what I would do I would buy one uh, May 12 1250 strike so I buy that cheapest option and I would likewise go out to the next further month the January and you can see here that you can buy the same 1250 strike it's a little bit more expensive at 330 so one way to do this would be to buy both the May and the January 1250s uh, it would be so five hundred and forty dollars would be your upfront if you bought one of each of these options and uh, you would make potentially about uh, twenty five hundred dollars so twelve fifty for each of these if the thesis worked out perfectly and this company became completely impaired and became a zero so the way to play this I think is to just make sure that your loss potential is known and quantified and so this is why long put options are really an ideal tool uh, again I don't know if this thesis is gonna work out it may not but if it doesn't work out it's not gonna rip your face off you're gonna you know not be taken out of the game uh, you'll just have lost some money right if it does work out you're gonna make some money and uh, it's not really gonna move the needle a ton either direction but it's kinda of fun to put on a small trade like this and then you know let the whales battle it out in court or let the whales battle it out in the in the court of public opinion and uh, the thing plays the way it plays and, and you're kind of on board and, and it sort of helps you follow along with the story okay so this is just kind of a again it's not a recommendation for or against the stock I don't know what's gonna happen but it is kind of interesting to consider maybe nibbling at a couple of small put options in a situation like this and maybe it works out uh, maybe it doesn't and um, you know I hope I hope this video is helpful and as always uh, thanks for watching